Up until now, all variables have been implicitly declared. Therefore, if we have a variable and we call it full name and we set it equal to a string equivalent to Don Felker, the type is going to be a string. And we can actually verify that by doing a little bit of inspection here on the actual type. So I print the full name and do colon colon and tell it, hey, what class does this full name actually belong to? And if we run it, we can actually see that it comes back as a colon string. So we're working with a string here. Now, there are times that you would like to specify the type of the variable explicitly. And you can do that by providing a colon, a colon after the name of the variable and then providing the type. So here would be string. I would see Don Felker. If perhaps I change, I put the wrong type here, perhaps I tried type integer, and then I set it equal to Don Felker, we'd get actually an error. And it says, well, the type is mismatched. You're, we require an int because the full name variable is an int. So you're trying to set a string, that's just not gonna work. And if we try to compile it by skipping the IDE, it's gonna say the same thing. The inferred type is string, but the actual, but I int was expected. So uh, either we have to change the explicit type or we need to change their value here. So for example, if we wanted a age, and we wanted to explicitly provide the type, we would provide the type here. So anytime you'd like to provide the type for either a val or a var, you just have to type the variable name, colon, and then the type that that's going to equal to explicitly provide the type to your variables.